Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM Concept. In this video, we are going to show you how to review the unit material and labor cost estimates and start your optimization. Let's go ahead and turn our attention to our RAM Concept model. And in the main menu, I am now going to select Reports, followed by Estimate. Now RAM Concepts optimization process automatically searches for the most economical solution. Economical solutions are defined as ones with lower total material and labor costs and no failing design criteria. To calculate the material and labor costs, RAM Concept will use the post-tensioning, rebar, and SSR quantities in the results design multiplied by their respective cost factors which are set by you in the estimate window. Because changing the cost of a single material may result in a different most economical solution, it is important to set the costs in the estimate as accurately as possible for the job and location being designed. So you can go ahead and review your estimate report and make any adjustments necessary prior to kicking off your optimization. Once you've done that step in your workflow, you're ready to begin your optimization process. To start this process, we're going to go to the optimization option within the menu bar and then click optimize tendons. For your convenience, we also have an icon available in the toolbar. Now the optimization workflow will require you to associate your project and sign in to Bentley Systems. Once you have successfully signed in, you are ready to start your optimization. Now you are able to run multiple optimizations in RAM Concept depending upon what it is you're trying to achieve. For today's training session, we're trying to achieve our most optimum post-tensioned layout for our particular slab. You may also, however, use the optimization features to investigate other alternatives such as different slab thicknesses or configurations. I'm going to go ahead and name my first scenario as optimization 1. And then I'm going to enter my optimization criteria. I'm going to enter my maximum number of iterations the number of non-improvement iterations, improvement tolerance, and the maximum ACU consumption. Once you've entered all of your optimization criteria, you are ready to begin your optimization. So we'll go ahead and click on the OK button. Now once the optimization has started, you can go ahead and highlight your optimization and you can monitor your results as the optimization gets started and as it goes towards completion. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.